Hey guys, this is Goddess Nicole Tarot back to bring you another energetic read for the collective for my beautiful and handsome Soul Tribe members. How are you guys doing on today? I hope all is well on this beautiful Saturday. Well, it's beautiful here in the South, guys. I hope it's beautiful wherever you are in this crazy universe, okay? This this world, okay? With that being said, thank you for the continuous love and support that you show me and the channel. I am greatly appreciated. And thank you so much. I love you guys. With that being said, uh, <clears throat> I can be loud on this channel. I also can cry on this channel. I also can use profanity from time to time. It all depends on what energies I partake in, what energies I embody, uh, the downloads, the uh, channel messages, the channel songs. It all plays a part out of here, okay? To get the messages out there clear and concisely as I can as possible and quickly as I can guys with that being said let's tap in here but first I want to clear the energy I've already saved the energy here okay so I'm gonna just tap this bell y'all I have been getting this 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 whining noise in my ear all morning it's still going on right now there is some type of communication uh, that my um, <clears throat> my spiritual team is trying to tell me. I don't know if that's a warning because I keep hearing it over and over. It's doing it now. So there could be some type of communication coming in to you guys, okay, <clears throat> my collective. Um, something about the first words that I got here, uh, I got a couple downloads I want to share with you guys. I should have said that. I got criminal hacking. So somebody could have been hacking your information, okay, <clears throat> hacking your personal business, okay? I'm talking about details of things that you do not want to be hacked, okay? Your personal information, such as your name, your social security numbers, okay? Your birth dates, things of that nature. How much money you have in your bank account, things of that nature, okay? Your address, okay? Storing information while they're hacking your system. They're storing information on you, okay? That's the first two things that I got here, okay? Also, uh, I got some names with that, but I'll share that towards the end, okay? <clears throat> I also got, there could be, somebody could be, somebody could be getting haunted right about now, because I got a deep, low, rumbling pitch. So somebody could be scared that there is an entity in their home, and it's, it has a deep voice, okay? This is what it's giving me here. Yeah, I did put out to the side haunting. So somebody could be going through that in their home right about now, okay? Some type of haunting, okay? This person could have been the homeowner of that home, okay? Somebody could have passed away in that house or home or somebody called on some entities or DNTs that they were not supposed to and now they're being haunted, maybe even run out of their sleep waking up all times on odd nights uh odd times of the night that's what i'm getting from this okay somebody is definitely being haunted here somebody could be a criminal hacker also with the storing the information here mm. also i got sewer problems too so some of you guys could be having uh sewer to back up into your home okay some of you guys may have had to call a plumber, okay? Or there could be, like, you, st you could stay in a city where there is sewage actually coming from the pipes, okay? I did get that smell of, of cupid smell, so it's, it's real foul, okay? So that could also be associated with the haunting in someone's house. Somebody could be really smelling a foul, rotten odor, okay? That's usually a sign that your house is <laughs> possessed, okay? Or they're trying to possess the house or someone in the house, okay? That is a form of possession, okay? When you smell a rotten, foul odor, it's specifically a rotten egg, okay? That's what I got. <clears throat> also, I got blue cross blue shield. So some, something could be going on with somebody, somebody's medical insurance, okay? Somebody's trying to get that straightened out or the insurance is not paying for something and somebody has to pay out of pocket, okay? 
where you're, you're all together just tired of this insurance company, okay? Maybe you guys are trying to go to um, seek out quotes amongst other insurance companies. That's what I got to as well. Somebody is a welder too. I got burn marks. So some of you guys could be welders, pipe fitters, okay? Of that nature, okay? Some of my male uh, or, or female, we can have female uh, welders too as well. My daddy was one. My daddy was a welder. He was a jack of all trades actually. He could do in, in every job, okay, before he got sick. So some of you guys are like that. I did get rubbing alcohol, Vicks Vapor Rub, um, something to do with some type of cold. Somebody could be having a cold or somebody is sick. Somebody is scared to go to the doctor too as well. <clears throat> That's what I got. So if you're sick, you need to go to the doctor, my love, okay? Whoever this is, who is this message for? Okay, take it however resonates with these downloads, okay? Um, <clears throat> also, I got the name Brady. I got the name Connie. I got Phil, Margaret. Jenny Bell, okay. Somebody could be called Jenny Bell, <laughs> or somebody's last name is Bell, okay. I got Joel, I got um, Job, okay, and I got Perry. Those names could be very significant here when it pertains to these downloads. Somebody has a car collection, they like to collect old cars. Whether that is toy cars or if that is actually the real thing, okay? I just kept picking up on this Cadillac. Somebody has a Cadillac. It's either tan or black. This person, um, somebody dra drives a Cadillac, okay? Somebody is secretly meeting up behind your back too as well. I did get that. It could be somebody that owned a car collection. Somebody could think they're a pimp child with all these cars. That's what I'm picking up. I'm seeing a lot of cars in my third eye. Somebody got a lot of cars. <laughs> it could be a guy thing, okay? That somebody just love cars, okay? This could have been somebody's father or grandfather or husband. My brother, aunt, uncle, somebody loves cars, okay? Somebody could love a Cadillac. Somebody could have got several different Cadillacs, child. <laughs> I don't know. Those names can be very significant too as well. I also got a channel message. They never should have test the waters. So somebody got test the waters and got sat down, okay? That's what I'm picking up. And then it got creepy, y'all, with the, it got creepy with the downloads. But however, somebody has came in close contact with alien, alien contact. I got abductions and alien contact. Okay. I also got time capsule. So that can be very significant for some of you guys. Okay. If in fact you have alien DNA in your body, this could have been why, okay, you came in contact with the aliens, okay? Oh, something, something to do with the matrix here, too, as well. I'm picking up on their energy, too. So, I guess the downloads have gotten really broad now, y'all. I, I, I went through another ascension, so y'all just bear with me, okay? All right? The, 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 the downloads were just coming in like hotcakes. I had to slow down, okay? I almost ran out of paper. Okay, so, uh, so something to do with the matrix. Okay, also something to do with alien abductions and alien contact, time capsules. Time capsule is just giving me like something about time travel that can be very significant. So some of you guys could be doing going through deja vu. <laughs> something is just like unreal to you guys. That's what I'm picking up. It's just like, I've done this. I've been here before. For some of you guys, not all of you, this may resonate with some of you guys, okay? I get deja vu a lot, a, a, a whole lot, 
Okay, actually, I got it this morning when I was watching some. I was watching a couple reels, and so I was just like, I don't watch these before. But yet, I never have. It's weird. I don't know. 10 10 on the clock, as I said that. So, yeah, somebody, they should have tested the waters. Be somebody should have tested the waters before they did something here. And some of you guys could be, you know, going through this. Somebody could be having a, a real nasty cold right about now. And somebody needs some rubbing alcohol or vapor, vape, vape, Vicks Vapor Rub. Okay, that could be very significant here, y'all. <clears throat> Let me go over the names again. I got Brady, Connie, Phil, Margaret, J Jenny Bell. Okay, Joel. Okay, Job, J-O-B, and Perry. Can be very significant here. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know if it has anything to do with the downloads. The downloads have anything to do with the reading. Okay. Let's see. I was hearing money showers. What? Somebody like money to rain on them? <laughs> I wish it to rain on me, child. <laughs> what is going on here, Spirit? Give us some information on this. What do you want the collective to know today? I'm going to keep the downloads out because I may need to refer back to them, guys. Okay. Let's see here. Career and success. Tent house. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> so somebody is successful here. They're going up the ladder. Okay. Or somebody is heading into this position right about now, okay? It says ruled by Capricorn. So some of you guys could have Capricorn in your uh, chart or you could be a Capricorn, uh, very successful, okay? The house of action, you take action here, okay? You're very perseverant. It says the house is governing, house of govern, house of profession, I'm sorry, governs the public image. So something could be happening publicly for someone Okay, professional aspirations and career achievements. <clears throat> Judge the rank and status, position and authority. So, wow. So somebody uh, doesn't like your career, maybe your success, maybe you blooming, you're growing, okay? You're going up, okay? And somebody could not like this, okay? You could be a Capricorn or there's a Capricorn that don't like you being successful in your career here. Somebody may have a problem. Somebody should have tested the waters here. Let's see. <laughs> we got Mercury. I said something about communication here, y'all. So somebody could be getting some communication about a new job, a promotion, okay? Maybe a, taking up a new career, such as going to college or school, taking another course, could be very significant. It talks about the mind and speech. So somebody is very successful in the way they speak, the way they talk. Okay. Somebody could have a career in that line of charism. Okay. Somebody, something to do with your speech, the way you speak, it, it may, the way you communicate. Somebody may not like that. Okay. Mercury talks about, um, uh, your mental capacity, the way you speak. So something to do with your technology here. Somebody could be good at computers, okay? Somebody could be in tech. Yeah, third house communication. I cannot make it up. Mm. The way you interact, the way you talk, the way you speak. Somebody do not like that. This is what I'm getting. Somebody don't like the way you talk or way you speak or way you teach or way you communicate or interact or they don't like people interacting with you because you're so, so somebody could be envious or jealous. Okay. It, it, it has different meanings to it. Somebody, somebody could just be jealous of the way what you have. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> they want to be like you. That's what jealousy means, okay? They jealous of what you have, your status, how successful you are. Envious, okay, is when somebody actually just hate you all with a passion. So it could be both, okay? Somebody just don't like your name to be brought up 
in rooms because from what I'm looking at here, you're very successful, okay? And it's something along the lines of your work here, okay? How you interact with people or how people interact with you that somebody, it just cringe. Somebody just cringe at the thought of that, okay? That's what I'm getting here, okay? Third house, the house of communication, thinking, perception, reflection, and gathering of facts. So, so whatever you're speaking, you're speaking facts, okay? Whatever you're saying is speaking to people and they interact with you, okay? Maybe some interact in a negative way, some in a, interact in a positive way, but whatever you're doing, you're successful at it. Okay, it says plays a vital role in language, sharing information and learning about the world around you. So, wow. I just tell them people, oh, well. Let's see. Mm. Fourth house, it could be your own family that's hating on you, darling. Or somebody you once had a family with. Okay, with the fourth fourth house here. This talks about the, this represents Gemini too as well, the fourth house here. So somebody could have Gemini placements in their chart and they can be very two-faced, okay? Could have a totally different side. Somebody could be acting out in their shadow side twin, okay? And somebody just hates you. This could be a twin that hates you, okay? Doesn't like how successful and how you interact with the others and how you carry yourself and what you speak here. This is what he's giving me. A fallen twin is mad at somebody that they can no longer be with anymore and they don't like how successful you have became, how awakening have you have became, okay? You may be waking this twin up, okay? And they don't like to see themselves. This is somebody that wants to be superior to you. Okay, they don't like the roles being reversed. <laughs> they the one that wants to be in control. This is what I'm getting from this. Yeah, square. This is somebody that could have a lot of obstacles in their way and they're unhappy, come through spirit, very unhappy. Squares in your uh, chart represent things that you need to heal from and learn from, okay? For some of you, if you're getting birth chart readings, Okay, ask the practitioner or the spiritualist about squares in your birth, birth chart. They're representing things that you need to do shadow work on and you need to heal from. This is somebody that needs to do that. Okay, because they're unhappy. Yeah, moon energies, they're in their feelings. I cannot make it up. Come through spirit. Child. <laughs> somebody need to get out their feelings, child. Let's see, who is this? This may be a long one, guys. But we're going to get to the bottom of it. I love you guys. I just want to give you the clearest, accurate message as I can, okay? Somebody's twin is mad. So this could be a fallen twin, a karmic twin, okay? Or a person that was false in your life that you could have thought that was your twin. So this could be a false twin, somebody that you had to heal from and learn from, okay? All right? This could have been a catalyst twin, okay? Let's see. But this person is all in a feeling, child. They all in a feelings at your 10th house, your third house, and your fourth house. And the speech, your communication, the way you speak. <sighs> With this fly get out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> These monitoring spirits, child. They trying to know what's going on. We got the sign of Scorpio. So somebody could be a Scorpio, have those placements. This twin could have Scorpio placements or this twin is a Scorpio. Yeah, somebody don't love, they want control here. <laughs> control the situations. I told you come through spirit. Somebody wants your power, your status, your career, maybe, okay? They want your, 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 your shine. This is what is giving the, their, your store power. Somebody wants to be in that position with you or above you, okay? They don't want to be behind you. They want to stand next to you or they want to take 10 steps forward and you'll be, you be behind. This is what this person wants. Very controlling, okay? 
it says purification to re resurrect. So somebody that you purified yourself from, you cleansed yourself from, okay? You elevated from, you left out in the cold. Somebody is upset, child. Somebody is upset. <laughs> this could be a secret that this person feels a way about you. It says the secrets of, this is this person's true feelings here, okay? Somebody all in their feelings, child. All in their feelings. It says the highest and lowest aspect. So somebody could be at their lowest. They're definitely not at their peak. They're not at their highest. Somebody is in their feelings. <laughs> Child, get out your feelings, boo. Get out your feelings. Yeah, somebody is obsessed. The need for control. A power struggle. <laughs> this person is obsessed with you. Jesus Christ, here we go. <laughs> and somebody may want to communicate that with you, how obsessed and how controlling. This is probably why you left somebody. Because they were very controlling, very narcissistic, very whiny, complaining. Oh, I want this. I want that. I want to be controlled of this. Or you can't wear that. Or that's mine. Oh, I got to have the say-so, the last say-so. This type of person. Jesus Christ, it's a very, this is a person that <clears throat> really wants to control everything they do and you do, okay? If you show more love to your children, this person will be mad. This is this type of person. Somebody gets jealous of the way you show compassion and the way people show and interact, show you love. This is somebody, oh my God, this is weird. Yeah, somebody wants to control your resources too. Second house, somebody wants to control your money. It's their beliefs that they are superior to you. This is somebody that is superior. This is not a companion that you would wanna be in a relationship with. I'ma just keep it all the way book. Because they'll be jealous of every accomplishment that you ever achieved. They will be somewhere sulking, watching you green with envy. You cannot be in a relationship with somebody like this. Does this person wants to control your money? What values? Okay, your resources. What matters and what's important to you? So this is a person that would even be mean to you and your children because they want to be control of everything. I, I cannot. This is somebody that you don't have patience with. Or oh, this person lacks patience. Oh my God. This could be a Leo <laughs> that came out too. Yeah. Somebody you had a family with <clears throat> that wants to be in a leadership position or you could be a Leo too as well. You could be a fixed sign. This person is very emotional. Somebody wants to take a chance on trying to start this family up. This is somebody you could have run, ran far away from. Far away from. Child, I cannot. Somebody wants to be a leader. And somebody is so in their feelings that they can't control you. Aquarius could be very significant here too. You could be an Aquarius. Or this person is... Somebody really wanted to control an Aquarius and you cannot do that. They have their own mind, their own vision. They're a fixed sign. This person is a fixed sign too. So y'all opposite of each other. Both of these signs control the wheel. So both of these are in leadership positions if you ask me. And the two leaders together, they're gonna clash all the time because they will not and they cannot be controlled if you see what i'm saying here <sighs> it says genius to experiment with so somebody tried to experiment this and fell flat on their ass they should have tested the waters <laughs> it says the discoveries of so you're very in tune very intuitive very smart here resulting from eccentric of so somebody is very knowledgeable your vision here somebody don't like your vision they don't like how successful you are and believe it or not guys this could be my own ex here i told you guys he was a leo very controlling 
he is popping up in my uh, uh my messages my readings a lot of times <laughs> like this e reading could even be for me i'm trying to tell you very controlling narcissistic person i was dating this could be even be for you guys. I'm telling you. Myself. I'm telling you. Yeah. Somebody didn't know love. With Venus here. It was all about obsession and controlling. This person's need for superiority, authority of somebody that they supposed to love. It got the best of them and ruined the relationship. In my case, I know it did. Because he was a natural born narcissist. Okay. The attraction of somebody is very attracted to you too as well. They're obsessed. <clears throat> they want to give you pleasure or they get pleasure from controlling you. This is somebody that has to be in control here. <clears throat> they enjoy being in control. They enjoy it. What else here, spirit? <clears throat> yeah. So they want to be in control of your money, your good fortune, your destiny. <laughs> they want to even be in control how you teach others to break free from people like this. You're teaching. It says learn and teach. Instead of this person learning something, they want to be in the position. They want to take over the position. Okay? Somebody so controlling, greedy, narcissistic, that they got to have the spotlight. That they do odd things to try to take it here. To strip you away from it. Jupiter is all about learning and teaching, being positive about growth and expansion. It also talks about being blessed by spirit and good fortune, good health. So that's where some of you guys are. Somebody is very envious and very jealous and possessive and obsessed with your position. Okay? Like I said, this can e re this reading can definitely resonate for me. I've been noticing a lot that my ex has been coming up in my readings as if I don't know he's watching me. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Child, please get the fuck on about your business. Like I said, they want to be in control. Capricorn energy. He could be in this devil energy. Somebody can definitely have a Capricorn uh, moon or something like that. Or somebody definitely could be in this rising here. Capricorn rising. Or somebody just wants to dedicate their whole life to making yours a living hell okay it says dedication to achieve focusing on this is where some of you guys are you're focusing on yourself because i know i damn well am i'm not focusing on my ex or anything from my past i'm maintaining my career and i'm standing up in my power somebody could not like that you're very successful you're very driven and you're focused on the game. You're focused, you're, you're a game player here. Okay, you're focused on what you want to achieve in life. And somebody needs to be doing the same exact thing, but they're obviously not. Their focus is on you. They can't even get things done around them instead of focusing on you. It's like a 24, seven days a week thing to this person. It's just like he's hungrily, he's pinned and aimed on you. It's just like somebody cannot even get their daily routine unless they're watching you. It's just ridiculous. The obsession of it all, it's crazy. Somebody is watching you smash your goals and they're mad. I mean, angry. They do this day-to-day -day reality. Somebody needs a reality check. It's a day-to-day -day thing for this person to watch you. You could have social media or you could not. Maybe this message is not for everybody. Okay? But take it however it resonates. There could also be a Taurus involved. That came out too as well. So we have Aquarius, Leo here, a, a Scorpio, and Taurus. Give me one more here. Yeah, about your success. I cannot make it up. Tip House is out here again. Again. So that's double confirmation of what I was saying. Somebody knows that you're going up the level. Something, somebody knows that you're protected here and that your career is protected. They cannot destiny swap or try to take anything from you. 
It's yours. It's your blessing from the most high. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you inspire others with Neptune under the bottom of its deck. Somebody try to prepare you for sacrifice and they know this that you know, okay? Yeah, with sacrifice here. Confusion regarding the sacrifice. So they're mad that it didn't happen, okay? And you're still standing in this power and you achieve, achieving things, okay? Your money is good. Your fortune is good. You're having good times, okay? You're very successful, very outgoing. You speak your mind here with Mercury and you communicate with others and you help others. Somebody don't like that. That's ridiculous. And they're obsessed with this. They're obsessed. Like, what is the fuck? This is crazy. Like, get on with your life. Like, what, what else better do you have to do than to watch somebody all day? You must don't have a job. You must don't have children to take care of. You must not eat. You must not wash your ass. You must not wash your face or brush your teeth. What the fuck do you do all day? Mind the business that pays you. This is sick. First, the motherfucker didn't treat you right because they want to control everything. Then they watch you every day. They obsessed. 31, 31 on the clock, as I said that. This is ridiculous. Move on with your life. That's because you're radiant. You're glowing, my love. You are the star. Look at those stars right there, my love. Come through, spirit. Mm. Then serenity is in the reverse here. So somebody don't have any peace in their life. And they're in their feelings with the moon energy on this card. Somebody don't have any peace. At the fuck all. Yeah. And they're not growing. Come through spirit with a vibe in the reverse. They're not growing at all. This is somebody who is stuck in their damn ways. Stuck there. They're not going to move. This is somebody that is probably trying to manifest you back into your life. But you clearly walked away. And you're not coming back. The fuck? Get on with your lives and stay out of people's business. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. You paying respect and gratitude to the most high, y'all. And that's how you're receiving your blessings. You're standing in your purpose and you helping others. That activated most high the universe to start bringing in great fortune to you. Your abundance. Your spiritual inheritance. And you've gained clarity about the snake in your past that you don't want to fucking associate it with or nobody from their past. Clarity is here. Come through, spirit. You know the truth. You ain't got time to play with these fools. You're in your purposeful position. You have a purpose here. And somebody don't like that, but it ain't shit. And ain't a goddamn thing they could do about it. <laughs> Nothing. Because this person tried to sacrifice you. They tried to take you out here. 33, 33 on the clock as I said that. This could have been your own ex trying to get rid of you. And you know that. <laughs> what? And you think I want to come back to you? You crazy. You absolutely are in fucking sane. And this is where this person is. Y'all be mindful. Let's get some tarot here. Absolutely the fuck insane. I did get another word here too. And I was wondering what that word mean. I just got it. It's called cat catatonic. And I asked spirit, what does that mean spiritually? So we was just talking in our head. So... It says hearing voices, having visions, or expressing ecstatic states and trances. So somebody could be losing their fucking mind. Okay? And somebody could be haunted. Somebody is losing it. I really feel sorry for that person that they can't move on with their life. But it has absolutely nothing to do with you collecting. 
This is somebody you heal from and you're successful at doing that. God put you in this purpose for a reason. Keep going. And you clear now. The clarity is here on who was the culprit behind everything that these people try to do to you. You know. I most definitely know what you did to me. Yeah. There could be a king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that did this. This Leo keeps coming out here, y'all. I know I'm not the only one that's picking up on it, okay? This is somebody that was very abusive to you. They don't even have to be in this king of wands energy, okay? But since the Leo is out here, okay, I'm picking up on it. My ear is just an issue. Yeah. Nave of Swords, they're watching you. Which is the page of source. I cannot make it up, y'all. I cannot. <sighs> they spreading gossip about you. Could be talking to negative about you too as well. Trying to down you to people and other people. I'm getting very emotional here, y'all. Y'all have to excuse me. And you were successfully making it out of that relationship. And somebody still is not happy for you. They still envy you. They still hate you. For what? Because you left them? Because they didn't treat you right? I don't understand. What else do you fucking want from me? Yeah. What else do you want from me? I was a sweetheart to you. The queen of cups. Come through spirit. I gave you all of me and you up here treated me. You betrayed me. You stabbed me in my motherfucking back and you think I'm supposed to be there for you? Fuck no. That's what some of you guys are saying. No, absolutely not. And I don't blame you, bro. Like, leave me alone. Somebody just don't get that. Like, go on about your life. Yeah. <laughs> We got the four of cups here. Somebody is so sad, so regretful that they let you go. So, so hurt that this end up happening and you, and you made something of yourself. This is sad. This is really sad. And that's your balance with the temperance here. And you're an angel. Some of you guys are earth angels and your intuition is on point. What you speaking or what are you saying to help other people? It's a good thing. The spirits love it. Your angels love it. So who who else don't give a don't love it? We don't give a fuck. We don't care what you don't like. It ain't for you to like. Stop watching. For you get your feelings hurt. Real talk. Yeah. Sign energy. Because you're being exposed. Big Leo energy. Ugh. On the bottom of the deck. Because <laughs> what you saying? What you communicating? Eight of Wands. They don't like it. Your ex don't like it. My ex don't like it. And I tell them, I do not give a fuck because you didn't put me in this position and I'll be damned if you ain't going to take it from me either. And that's just period. <clears throat> Motherfuckers are mad that you tell them the truth about they sorry, pathetic ass, narcissistic, bum ass. That's what it is. And I'm going to stand up in my truth. I was abused by this bitch ass nigga. And I said to the world, I, I was shot at from the rooftops. Okay? Me and my children. And ain't nothing going to change that. What else? Mm -hmm. This person had addictions. It was like a toxic roller coaster you were on. This was a toxic connection. Come through spirit. Come out. What else, spirit? Yeah, this person wants power. This person is stubborn and they're stuck in their fucking ways. Okay? And they're imbalanced. They're not balanced at all. 
Somebody should have tested the waters before they try to sacrifice you with this dark magic. Because that's what I'm picking up on too. Yeah. And you're not dating this person ever again. You don't have love from them at all. Yeah. Karmic soul time. Come through spirit. That's all it was. That's all it was. So nothing more, nothing less. A catalyst for you to change. And that's what you did. And you're successful at it. Yeah, and they're over here crying, obsessed, depressed, and in pain and sorrow. That has nothing to do with you, collected. Move on with your life, bitch-ass nigger or bitch-ass hoe. Yeah, they want you to compromise. And you're not doing that. You're not. I really hope this helps. I'm finna get out this energy because it's pissing me off because I'm picking up on the energy. I really hope this helps someone. I really hope it gives you the clear and concise answers that you need. Again, this has been Goddess Nicole Tarot. Peace, love, and light to your collective. Until next time. Mwah. Bye. Y'all stay safe and I love you guys. Take care. Stand up in your truth. Don't let nobody discourage you. Discourage you from anything that you're successful in.